Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is yet another day, a new day, a bright Sunday, a day that the Lord has made that we should all be glad and rejoice in it. You don't like this day? What else? Which other day do you like? A day that most of the people are relaxing, you know, just thinking of the goodness of God. Today, as usual, is health issues coming to your doorsteps from Richmond Media. This is streaming live on YouTube and Facebook, and you can listen to it as well from the radio station called Richmond Media. Today's health issues, the topic that we are presenting to you this afternoon, that is really bothering so many people. It has been a big problem that majority of the population are suffering from it, but don't know what to do. Today, what we are discussing here will help you or might help you encourage other people who are suffering from this condition. It's a usual one that so many conditions are also related to this kind of problem. The topic for today is shortness of breath. Or usually when you go to the hospital or to the health center, you hear SOB in short. So when you hear any nurse or doctor talking about SOB, that is simply means shortness of breath. This afternoon, I have no other person with me than my own brother, Mr. Owusu Ansa. Mr. Owusu Ansa, you are welcome to Richmond Media. Mr. Owusu Ansa, you are welcome to Richmond Media. Thank you. Thank you for having me as well. You're welcome. At a point in time, we might have another guest with us, but for one reason or the other, she's not available at this moment. So please bear with us if she joins us later. Ms. Ozianza, how are you this afternoon? I'm good. Good by God's grace. Before we start the program, you know, our viewers are with us. Therefore, we have to acknowledge whoever is uh, presenting himself or herself at this moment by sending us a comment. We really appreciate our viewers, the fact that you spend your time, your precious time with us every Sunday afternoon. Viewers, you are also welcome to the program. And at this moment, we encourage you to just remember our other family members, our friends, to join us this afternoon and remind them to subscribe to this program so that we can all have the taste of the program together. You can also like it and comment. At this moment, we have our brother, George Ousube Quinn with us says, good afternoon, dear. Good afternoon, brother. You're welcome to Richmond Media Health Issues. And we have our brother, Akon George, also with us, says, good afternoon. Brother Akon continued to say that very interesting topic. I'm very interested in the topic. Thank you so much for showing your interest in this topic. And I hope you are seated comfortably waiting for what we have for you this afternoon. Brother Ozean, sir, uh, it's a shortness of breath, as we all know. So when we talk about shortness of breath, what comes in it? What is shortness of breath or SOB? Thank you very much. Um, so uh, to start this uh, discussion, um, I would like to suggest that uh, the way the human organism functions, the, the way our body functions, it's um, marvelous. It's so amazing that um, um other people put it that um it is an intelligent design an intelligent design and for bible believing people like myself i would say that 
the person who designed this uh, complex uh, being uh, artifact he's so generous and he's so wonderful so um the body as um we we see it from head to toe functions in diverse ways but um at its base the what um fuels the body let me put it that way um as we have or, um, talked about in some previous discussions um, is that food element or uh, food nutrients we know to be glucose the sugars and then oxygen so these are the two major um, um, substances that the the body feeds on or gets its uh, strength to function so at the cellular level the body cells they use the glucose in the uh, production of energy um, in the form of atp to perform their um, daily activities or their functions and oxygen so what happens mostly is that um when we eat the food breaks it down and then takes that um, food substance or food um, element known as glucose, takes it up into the blood, and then the blood takes it um, along or across the body for utilization. And this same blood, when um, an individual breathes in, takes in air, um, the vital element in it that helps us is oxygen so it is able to also take that out that is done by the an iron component that binds itself with the oxygen and takes it along or across the body to be used and um for the body organs or the tissues oxygen is so vital to them and and, and to their survival as well as glucose. Um, when we say shortness of breath, in medical terms, it is described as dyspnea. Um, it can be described as a feeling that one gets um, indicating reduced or decreased amounts of oxygen in the person's um, blood. So shortness of um, breath, we we um, or humans experience it in um, various symptoms, but the most common one is, uh, I would say, sometimes tightening of, of the chest, um, and that feeling of impending doom, and um, it, it also sends the the whole system into gasping for that loss that um, it is encountering. So shortness of breath, um, it's displayed in that series of um, events, I, I would say. It is um, an emergency, a medical emergency that needs to be um, taken care of as in, uh, immediate or as early as possible so in description that is what i would say shortness um, of breath is it is a feeling of, that you can't get enough air into your lungs that is to the uh, lay person but medically it is described as reduced amount of um or re reduced levels of oxygen in the blood in the um individual's blood so that is the description of shortness of breath Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. Sorry, there was a, a bit of a problem caused by myself. I do apologize for that. Yeah, thank you so much. So what are the causes of SOB? Okay, so um, 
I I want to relate that to the um, various tissues and organs and, and their functions. Um, in order to get the optimal levels of oxygen in the blood or in the human system, the heart needs to be um, working as it should be. The lungs need to be working as uh, they should be. Um, the blood vessels, the um, veins, the arteries, and the capillaries also need to be um, functioning as they should. Um, and then um, the bronchioles, or let me say the airway from the nostril down to the lungs. So the lung can stand on its own as um, a whole organ, but then the accessory organs also. So from the nostrils of the individual to the lungs needs to function as they, they should be. So any event or any um, occurrence that would cause a compromise in the function um, of any of these tissues or organs that I have mentioned could be said to be a cause of shortness of breath. So um, let's say if you have a blockade in the nostrils that prevents air from entering, that, that could be a cause of um, shortness of breath. And um, if your lung is compromised in function, say it's... Um, capacity is reduced, that could also be a cause of shortness of breath. If your heart, that needs to um, pump and send that oxygen in the blood along or across your body, is also compromised. It could cause shortness of breath. And in the same manner, if the blood um, vessels that are supposed to take the blood that is rich in oxygen along or across the body if they are affected in function then they could also cause shortness of breath um, but in all um, there are medical conditions um, that display these and so if um, say one has asthma yeah that individual uh, would e exhibit that when he, he or she has an attack. Um, when one, one has chest infection, uh, when one is um, overweight, all these could be causes. But as I am saying, it should be related to the um, tissues or the organs that are involved in helping us get the air inside and use the air or the oxygen. So if any of these organs or tissues is compromised, then it could be um, uh, termed or known as causing shortness of um, breath. So those are a few um, medical conditions, the asthma, the chest infection. Um, even if one gets panic attack, that could also lead to shortness of um, breath. But I always say that anything that compromises the functions of the organs or the tissues involved in respiration, then that uh, could cause shortness of breath. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brother Wuziansa. Thank you for that in-depth explanation given to us at this point. Um, so what are some of the signs and symptoms that one can recognize to know that yeah this is leading to shortness of breath or sob thank you okay so um it seems i have uh, already touched on some um when one okay so when there is reduced Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like there is a bit of a problem shooting up from Maxwell's end. So hopefully Maxwell will get back to us as soon as possible. 
at the moment. Obrimpon using my account to say really good stuff and really interesting. Thank you, Obrimpon, so much for your support at this time. It's good when your son is supporting you in all things. At this moment, I would like all of us to acknowledge one of our sisters who is uh, celebrating her birthday today. She is a presenter from Richmo Media. And her name is Nana Ajua A. Sifa. Nana Ajua A. Sifa Ampuansa uh, from Richmo Media, from the staff, the CEO, the deputy CEO of Richmo Media. We wish you a happy, happy birthday. May this birthday bring you joy, happiness, and the desire of your heart. May it be granted as you celebrate today. So wherever you are at this moment, it's birthday wishes coming to your doorsteps from Richmo Media. Nana Adua, happy, happy, happy birthday for myself as well. Mr. Uzansa, you are welcome back to the platform. Sorry, we lost you. Thank God that you are back. So you were talking about the signs and symptoms of shortness of breath. So please, may you continue. Okay, so uh, I started off with um, tightening of the chest. The individual may sweat. And then if it continues for a while, there's this pain felt, chest pain. And um, the individual skin may, may begin to change color. Uh, you know, when uh, um, someone is well perfused, when there is um, enough blood flow to the skin and all the um, cells or tissues of the body, the individual looks um, in a way um, the skin would look um, some may describe it as pink yeah and some may also describe it as slightly red but then either way but in the instance of shortness of um let, let me come here okay. when it becomes pinkish that is when you have a white skin okay. but when you don't have a white skin how can you describe it as pink so when you have white skin then it identify itself in such a manner oh, okay so um it basically um takes off or takes after the color of um, blood. So when one is um, perfused well, when an individual has um, the right levels of blood circulating normally, uh, that um, color is there. It takes after the color of the um, blood. But then in the instance of shortness of um, breath, if that continues for a while, that changes. It's, yeah. It, it, the individual either becomes pale or slightly turns blue. Let me put it in that way. That is um, especially the periphery. So the um, individual may see the nail bed and then the um, palm and the face. What is the nail bed? Because an ordinary person will not I'm know it to, what is to the nail screen. bed. I'm showing it yes. to the screen. Um, so the tips, uh -huh. no, 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 not the tip. What the nail lies on. Uh, yeah, but if you don't identify it as the tip, someone will understand it that way. Yeah, if you say that. Yeah. Okay. So, I understand what you mean. Sure, sure, sure. An sure. ordinary person who doesn't know what we are talking about might so, not understand what. Um, what the floor, the nail lies on um what the nail lies on is the nail bed and then the the palm also could be used in such um description so yeah, yeah the palm may turn either pale or bluish slightly bluish yeah yeah and the um so the extremities may change color and then the face too may also uh show such signs so those are the 
uh, signs of shortness of breath if um, it lingers. But the, um, in the initial stages, it's just the tightening of the chest and then sweating. So if, if it lingers, then um, the others follow. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Ocean, for that uh, kind of uh, understanding that you have given us at this moment. You know, shortness of breath is really troubling so many people in different ways, depending on what condition the person is suffering from. So it becomes very important topic for most of us who does not uh, understand the causes and symptoms of it so that we will be more aware of what is happening within our bodies. Um, Akon, Mr. Akon George says, in neonates, so the child becomes sinus, bluish, yeah, as discoloration, as you said, as a sign of hypoperfusion. So, is the same way that uh, similar to what Mr. Ousu and Sam said is what uh, Akon George is also adding to it. Akon, please, when we finish, I would like to uh, contact you. So um, I don't know how to get in, in touch with you. If you don't mind to send your number or uh, when before we finish, I was I will let you have um rich more media contact so that you can send your number i want to have a discussion with you thank you so much akon continue to say that cold clammy yeah uh skin and then uh the person not able to complete sentences because the person is not having enough uh oxygen to be able to breathe properly so that the person can uh, talk as normal as we are talking at the moment. Mr. George Aikon continued to say that nasal flaring to you is one of the signs. I don't know how to bring the nasal flaring down, um, but I think... Mm -hmm. the, the nostrils, the um, opening of the nostrils, mm -hmm. it widens. Yeah. yeah so... And to, in, in a short term, to someone who understand my dialect, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Tai Muhammad also says, great topic. Thank you, Sister Tai, for always making your time with us. And Brother Kwejo Amponsi, Squad Amponsi, nice topic, H. Bima. God bless you for your hard work watching live. Thank you for spending your time watching us and i'm very sure that you watch us till the end of the program and before we move on richmond media is having a promotion at the moment if you watch 50 of our videos and ask 50 people to subscribe to the channel you have a chance of winning a laptop if you watch 40 of our videos and ask 40 people to subscribe to the channel, you have a chance to win a mobile phone. And if you have, uh, if you watch 30 of our videos and ask 30 people to subscribe, you have a chance of winning a hamper. What is in, you'll be able to tell us the great stuff that goes in there. And then the fourth prize is also a hamper. When you ask 20 people to subscribe and you watching 20 of our videos, you have the chance to win the hamper. And the last but not the least is the fifth prize. If you watch 15 of our videos and ask 15 people to subscribe to the channel. At the end of each uh, program, what you have to do is to screenshot the end of the program and then you send it to which more ideas or contact, which I will give the contact later on so that you know where to send it to. We would appreciate it if you can do this because we love our viewers to also get something from us that will motivate you also as we go along the journey of health issues. Thank you so much. Mr. Ozan Sam, 
Let's continue. So how many types of SOB do we have? And if we know the types, may we also know the name so that when something is described or if some someone is having some of the difficulties concerning SLB and it's described in a certain way, the person will know what the doctor is talking about. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, in relation to our discussion, I want to submit two major classifications. Um, other school of thought have uh, their th things about that, but um, I would want to submit that there is the chronic phase and then the acute phase in, in the sense that um, the, the acute one would be described as a sudden onset, a sudden onset of the um, shortness of breath. That's it's a medical emergency. And um, that is caused by anything, as I've um, said, that compromises the respiratory um, organs and their functions. And then there is the chronic one, um, that which lingers for that it might be um, a permanent condition that uh, maybe the individual might have developed. Um, examples are the, the um, asthma, the COPD, but when it comes to the acute ones, the ones that happen suddenly, those ones prompt the individual that there is a compromise in either the um, cardiovascular or the respiratory system and needs um, urgent attention. With the chronic type, that might be genetic or hereditary, or maybe the individual might have developed it um, along the course of his life. And so might have um, known and maybe had um, education on that. There are triggering factors and all that. With the chronic um, ones, the individual knows about all these. Or if, um, let me say, he or she might have experienced it over and over. Yes, and so has knowledge of it. But with the acute ones, the sudden ones, um, those, we need to be very, very mindful of that. That prompts us um that there is a compromise in the respiratory and then the cardiovascular functions it is very um interesting to know that um i have said that and it is for um record it has been uh, proven that what the the human body subsists on lives on is the glucose and then the oxygen but we as humans can live without the glucose longer than the oxygen the reason is that the body has its own way of storing up glucose so that in times of need when we don't have access to them the body then goes back to break down um, the storage and then get back its glucose and so without food let me say we can live longer than without air the body has no way of storing up the oxygen, storing them up as it does with the um, glucose. That is why it is very, very important to be very mindful when it comes to um, our relation um, to the functions of uh, the respiratory system. So whenever um, the, the question of breathing comes in. I am very particular about that. And all of this is centered around the, the blood of the um, individual because the blood has that element that binds with the oxygen we have gotten from the um, atmosphere and then it sends it across. 
So if we don't have good blood, let me put it in, in that way. If we don't have good blood, healthy, healthful blood, then we are in serious trouble because there wouldn't be anything like storing up oxygen. There's nothing like, like that. As there is the store, uh, storage of glucose for later use, there isn't anything like that for the oxygen, the air. So we should be very, very mindful that we, we always um, do our best to have good blood so that it can bind with the oxygen that we, we inhale well and then we can have good use of it. So um, I, I just wanted to put that in front so that we will be very mindful. Um, there's this, before we go to the next um, question, there's this um, important quote that I, I want us to uh, have knowledge of. It is from one prominent writer, a lady. She is no more. Um, she is Ellen White, Ellen G. White. Um, she, she wrote this down hundreds of uh, years ago. <laughs> but then it is very, very interesting to note. I want to just read a, a portion of it uh, so that we all get it. It says um, it can be found in Ministry of Healing, um, page 272, paragraph 123. It says, in order to have good blood, we must breathe well. Full deep inspiration of pure air, which fill the lungs with oxygen, purify the blood. They impart to it a bright color and send it a life-giving current to every part of the body. A good respiration suits the nerves. It stimulates the appetite and renders digestion more perfect. And it induces sound, refreshing sleep. So um, it can be inferred from this that the, the actions of the, the respiratory system tend to keep the body going always. It's not about food, food, food. We have been mostly talking about food and all that. But air is very, very, very important. And we need to keep that. Because when it comes to our vital organs, such as the brain, the heart, the lungs, um, the liver, and other organs, in, in uh, the cessation of air or oxygen, along or across the body these organs they start to deplete lose their function and somehow even die off so um uh medical people say the first four minutes of um having shortness of breath is very very crucial to every um individual because the vital organs, such as the brain, starts uh, deteriorating, dying off. Yes. So four minutes, six minutes, and then onwards, these organs begin to die off. And so we have to be very, very careful, mindful when it comes to this topic that we are discussing, the shortness of um, breath. And this all can be um, um, taken in good light when we decide to keep our, our our blood the blood that we have in our systems healthy because they help us transport the oxygen let us be very mindful thank you very much thank you so much mr Usian uh if you don't like this what else do you like a very important topic sob known as shortness of breath um, so uh, at this moment, I would like us to have a commercial break, a quick one. Oh, my brother and sister, if you are sending money to Ghana, I recommend one company to you, and the name is OAP. OAP is just one in thousands that send money to Ghana without any problem at all. But why don't you download the app? And then use a promotion code called Richmo. Richmo is us. It's what we stand for. And the letters are R-I-C-H-M-O. 
use rich more code and you will have seven pounds on your first transaction is it um a family problems is it school fees hospital bills any project that you are struggling to send money to ghana that you don't know what to do why don't you try us and see what we worth of it's no other company than OAP. Try us and see the benefits that you get along with it. On the other phone, Opa saw this Kako Ghana now. Adianism, Siku Fees, I have some your moon sense, and I pass all this. You can echo, and I will your project to be a watch with some movies. When you are brave, won't you? I won't you? What it is? OAP, your solution at the mouth. Said the bear be come up come out to him. And he said, download your app no. Na suma ye. Na ye mfe sika ne em koma wo. Ye fe ye tuya ye ka. Na ye ntuya wo ka. E san sa wudi tu mu mwa. Na ye nsu ye di atum. Wadi po busu ya en sabe ka. No obe di mwa dansi ye. Na abe mu se ampa. Kampe na e wase. Wudi wu sika. Mani. En sen sem e faso. E ye ba kope. E di chum. On one o a p, and so I was a we use rich mo and son when you're for swa a woman. Madam, I say, is always answer. Let's continue. So, at this moment, if someone uh is watching us and the person is suffering from SOB or shortness of breath, as an individual who doesn't know anything about it, but has heard of it, how could a person identify or how can the person know that uh, the type of SOB that the person is suffering from is related to an organ or one of the organs like the lungs, the hearts. I think you've already mentioned some of the organs already, but how can an individual identify or relate the kind of SOB that the person is suffering from to any of these organs, if that's where the cause is coming from. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so with this, um, I would say that, just as I, I described earlier, if the individual's shortness of um, breath has been chronic, as in, um, the, the person has had that experience of um, dyspnea, shortness of breath, over and over. Then um, that could be related to any of the um, respiratory conditions and um, as such could also be directed to the lungs and its um, associated um, organs or tissue. So if it has been chronic, that the, the um, individual knows of, then it could be related to that, um, especially in situations um, where one has asthma or um, COPD, uh, that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, then all those, all those um, could be related to um, a compromise of the lung and its associated organs. However, if someone also had, has um, cardiovascular conditions such as um, hypertension, with that, there can be a buildup of um, fluids. And that could also cause or bring about shortness of breath you see the the um, lung serves as a, the the um place or the resort for the air exchange um and so if the lung is filled up with fluids if there is fluid re, um, retention in the lungs it could cause shortness of um breath but however that wouldn't solely be related to the lung in and of itself it, yes that could be caused by a cardiovascular 
condition that is causing fluid um, retention in the body. So if someone has a cardiovascular condition, that could also be um, talked about. And other organs such as um, the liver, Whilst we are waiting for Mr. Wusu Ansa to get back, I think his network from that end is not helping us this afternoon. But as soon as he gets back to us, we will just add him to it. At the moment, I would like to continue to acknowledge Mr. Akon George. Mr. Akon says, nice delivery, Senior Maxwell. God bless you. And uh, Sister Yvonne says, good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, Sister Yvonne, Maxwell, please, you may continue. Okay. So if an organ such as the kidneys are compromised, um, the kidneys help us excrete um, mostly in the form of fluids. And so if they are also compromised, definitely it could have a return effect on the um, actions of the lungs. And they could also cause shortness of um, breath. So, um, in, in fact, when you take out the chronic conditions and those um, of us or the individuals that know that they have uh, shortness of breath or, or have experienced it before, if you take those conditions aside, such as um, asthma, uh, uh, COPD, uh, okay, this is bronchitis and, and all the others, if those are sidelined, any other compromise in any other function of an organ, whether it's an excretory um, organ, could also cause that in the long run. Yes, so that is how to um, determine. For those with the chronic conditions, they can... Um, directly be related to the lungs and the um, the heart, the cardiovascular. And the others could also take on the other side. Thank you so much, Mr. Obusu and Sa. Um, today we are learning a lot. If you have ears, please open your ears because what we are learning, we are learning for life, to save life, to create awareness and to promote health, which is very important. And breathing is a very important part of the body as well as our whole life. So please, let's take very, very um, this topic very serious so that we will learn. Even if we are not learning to help ourselves, we can help others to save others from dying, uh, uh, what should I say, under emergency situations. Sister uh, Yvonne says you are looking good. And if please, you don't have reach most number, that's the number on the screen, is 073 if you take the screenshots of the videos that you are watching from Richmond Media, this is the number that you may send it to. And Mr. Akon George says, nice delivery, Senior Maxwell. God bless you. Maxwell, do you know Mr. Akon? Yes, yes, I do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then I don't have to uh, worry myself because I was trying to see how we can keep in contact with him. But if you know him, then I reserve my comment. Thank you so much, Mr. Aikon. Thank you so much for always supporting us because we want to invite you to this platform one of these days, but that will depend on your availability. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Maxwell, um, at this moment, we are getting closer to the time. How can lifestyle changes or uh, how can lifestyle changes affect or improve shortness of breath in shorts? Okay. Thank you very much. So uh, this is also coming from the great writer, 
that I I I, I read from some time ago. Ellen G. White. Yes. Ellen G. White. This is from her book, uh, Council Sales on Health. Yeah. Um, it says, this is page 173, it says, we are more dependent upon the air we breathe than upon the food we eat. Men and women, young and old, who desire health and who will enjoy active life should remember that they cannot have these without a good circulation. Whatever their business and inclinations, they should make up their minds to exercise in the open air as much as they can. They should feel it a religious duty to overcome the conditions of health which have kept them confined indoors, deprived of exercise in the open air. There are a lot, but um, let me add this. Life, um, lifestyle modification has to do with everything we do, our day-to-day -day activities. So when it comes to um, proper diet, as we've, we've been talking about in our previous um discussions rest and sleep um exercise uh the way we use water clean and pure water and then today we are talking about air if um we falter in one aspect it can cause a rippling effect and then eventually cause us to be in uh, this state so if we do not have good blood, that will uh, that has the required amount of hemoglobin to bind the oxygen day in and day out for us, we will be in trouble. If and the good blood also comes about by eating the right food, so that the blood cells would be produced. So you, you see, they they, they all um, it, it's like a chain; they work hand in hand. But what I want to talk most on today, when it comes to shortness of breath, we, we've been talking about food, water, exercise. Let's look at uh, our clothing, the, the way we, 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 we cover ourselves as individuals. There, there are some instances that the clothes we, we put on, they deprive or they compromise the function of our blood vessels, the lungs, and our abdominal muscles. These are all used uh, effectively in obtaining the required amount of air that the individual has to use. So if you have clothes that are too tight, tightening your abdomen, the lungs, they need that abdominal space to maximize their capacity when you are breathing in and out and so the kind of dressing you 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 put on you have to take a good look at that making sure that any at any point in time your your clothes are not compromising your breathing mechanism that that should be very uh, very well noted and in like manner we should be very um mindful that at any point in time no clothes or apparel or anything you have on your body is compromising your um, vessel function, your blood vessels, you know, the veins and the arteries. So in effect, we should not be putting on things that are too tight as to occlude the blood vessels. They will harm us. Nowadays, most of us, we put on these tightening things mostly around the abdominal region trying to hide things you know so you are to... you are relating this to us to the women you know oh, but you don't know how to uh, put it. You, well, yeah, you some, don't accept some, that some men do that too oh, you know you. trying to hide that um <laughs> mass over there they are, you know they try oh, to hide okay. it. yeah 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 that, that's that is no good it is no good because it will compromise the, the 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 actions of your lungs the lung need that abdominal space that you know to function so we should be very mindful and then all the other um tight clothings and then lifestyle we should also make it a point to be um always you know um operating the open space open air you know 
most of us from day to evening we will be in close um and close spaces you know in um offices in the car th throughout the day that shouldn't be the case you shouldn't be in an enclosed space for the whole day you should get into the open to be able to take in good air i i don't know if you you get what i'm, I'm, I'm yeah I'm around good. the trees yeah. you know just so, to have some yes, fresh air yes, yeah yes. you yes. should at least you should make time an hour or two to be in the open space yeah if that's is possible because that will help very 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 much so that is what I, I want to add to the diet and the others today in relation to um shortness of breath thank you very much thank you so much uh mr Usu and Sam, for what you have given now we know that even what we are wearing can affect the process of breathing or gas exchange. Let me take it that way. Is there any way that diet plays in a, a role in breathing at all? Yep, yep, yeah. Um, in relation to having a good blood, diet comes to play. So, um, you are what you eat. So um your body will act on the food you put into your body to make very very good blood cells yeah know, to be able to utilize the oxygen that comes in so yeah. diet is very important um food that spice up or um, um optimize the the level of blood cell production we have them the greens the green leafy um vegetables and the herbs they they help very much in um giving us the needed substances for blood production. So those are very um, important. So you look into your um, area, the green leafy um, vegetables and herbs are around the edible ones and those that you don't react to, you are, you are not um, allergic to, you make very good use of them. Um, water, it's important uh, because the blood also uses uh, that pure, water clean water is very very important and um i'm coming here when you're talking of pure water someone living in ghana might think is the one that we know that's the only pure water the, um, the, the, one the, that, uh, the, the processed water. one <laughs> no 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 not that one <laughs> the one from our fountains <laughs> okay um and then um when it comes to the lung and its um tissues or organ um associated organs itself th there are some things that we do that um cause the shortness of breath um mostly for this is an example for musicians you can attest to the fact that uh hours to performance maybe singing if you eat uh foods that like uh biscuits granite and all that you see that while you are at your your um act your performance you might cough or start to choke yes we should you know take um very good look at the things we we, we put in mostly during time that we will talk for longer periods of time or we we'll do you know singing and all that um there, there are some foods that cause irritation to the airway the airway um that is from the nostril down through the uh, trachea to the lungs there, there are some foods that they they trigger re, um inflammatory re reactions and for those we should be um mindful of them not um everyone would re react though but you should be very very mindful and then um when taking in um oils yeah we should be very careful uh, let me say this even the position we assume while eating it's very very important so that you you don't get the food or a molecule of it the wrong way yes that could uh, um compromise your 
um, the functions of the respiratory organs. So we should be um, mindful of all those things. And I would say um, some of us during the night, we should have, you know, good air circ circulating in our rooms, but yeah, we, we, we close our windows and like it, it's too tight, it's too enclosed, even during the night. You should allow air to enter and leave your rooms sometime, you know, in the day, so that it wouldn't be still air in the room always. If you understand what I'm trying to put out, yeah, that's yes. okay. So you that there will be a, there will be circulation of yes, air, yes, yes, ventilation. Yes, that's the you word. <laughs> cultivate the habit of you know opening yeah. up your your windows for air to enter for um, proper ventilation. It, it shouldn't be always that tight and that close. That too helps very very uh, much. So we should be very mindful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Usan. My brother Akon George says, when the air sac, which is the alveoli in the lungs, are infected or built up, build up of mucus, it affects the quality of oxygen in our body. So by reducing the inflammation, which is an example of ginger, turmeric, and or turmeric, however you pronounce it, and uh, it can others that can help in the function of the um exchange of gases which helps in the sob thank you so much our brother akon and mr Wilson, so thank you so much for how far the lord has brought us and as every topic that we bring on this platform we crown it with the huge recommendation which is the World Health Organization recommendation, which is an umbrella that covers every policy or guidelines for the proposed subject. So today, as we are coming to the end, what are the recommendations of who concerning shortness of breath? Thank you. Okay, so WHO is saying that any treatment you may need in relation to shortness of breath will depend on what is causing your symptoms. And so do not try to self-diagnose and you have to always act quickly by seeing your healthcare provider because this is air we are talking about. It's not anything else, it's air. So don't self-diagnose. Make sure you see your GP as as soon as you encounter any of these um, the symptoms that we talked about, so that um, a, a proper um, investigation can be made and the proper diagnosis given and the proper treatment also attached. So please, any treatment relating to this will depend on what is causing it. And you don't have to put anything down your airway uh, in an attempt to relieve yourself of shortness of breath, you have to act quickly by seeing the GP. Unless you have a chronic condition and then you have been prescribed um, either a reliever uh, or a soother, you know, yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Usu and Sam, for how far you have allowed yourself to be used uh, for our viewers to know what is available for them, what they have to do, and what are the causes of SOB as one of the common conditions, So should I say, yeah, disease, I'll say condition, yeah, that is bothering so many people, but I can say then some lifestyle activities that act in melting the mucus to help the proper function adequate water intake and drink water consciously uh, one glass which is 250 ml so let water be part of our daily living life and that can help us to clear our throat especially when we are suffering from uh, a cough and other activities that 
affects our breathing. Thank you so much for how far viewers you have uh, spent time with us. God bless you. The same time next week, we bring you another episode of Health Issues, which is 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock UK time and 2 to uh, 3 Ghana time. And then you can convert it to wherever you are watching at from if the time doesn't suit uh, you. Thank you and God bless you. And we shall see you again. Thank you, Miss Oceans, and thank you to all our viewers the same time next week. See you again.